Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I had planned to post a luxury Q&A video that I originally requested questions for last year, but my computer crashed and I lost all of the footage. Apple was able to recover the footage for me, so I've started to edit that video. But since almost a year has gone by, I asked on Instagram for more updated questions and I got some really good, somewhat juicy questions. So I'll definitely answer those and that will be my next video so stay tuned for that but in the meantime I wanted to do a really fun video on the bags that I would seriously consider buying if I didn't get a Kelly so if you watched my video on the bags that would be my final five Hermes bags you know that other than the Nata mini Kelly the bag that is really calling my name is a green Kelly 25 but it has to be a rich deep jewel tone but for real reasons that I mentioned in that video, I haven't requested that bag or any other Hermes bags this year other than the Nata Mini Kelly, which I've talked your ears off about. So one popular question that I get asked a lot is, do you only buy Hermes bags now or do you have any interest in buying bags other than Hermes? And the answer is, I pretty much only buy Hermes bags, but that's not because I'm uninterested in other bags. It's really for more practical reasons. Firstly, but Budget. I have a limited luxury budget, so I have to prioritize what bags I can get and want the most with my limited budget. Secondly, even if I were to blow my budget and buy all of these bags that I'm interested in, what bags would I actually use? So I know myself well enough at this point to know that the reality is what I would actually wear on the weekdays to work are my Neverfulls and Longchamp, and what I wear on the weekends are my Chanel flat bags or my Hermes bags. So it's hard to justify purchases that I know that once the novelty wears off, I probably would not get that much use out of. And lastly, space. I've measured and remeasured and I've come to the conclusion that I can only fit a certain number of bags, unless they're all tiny little mini bags, in my handbag wardrobe comfortably. And after that number, which is about 25 bags, I would have to start storing bags in their boxes, which is not great for the breathability of leather. And even though I could, I just refuse to add any more additional handbag storage storage. So I'll be forced to sell bags to make space. And while that's doable and something that I'll probably consider in the future, I don't love selling bags unless I really don't like them anymore. I never want to use them or they serve such a redundant purpose in my collection that I can't foresee using them in the future. Unlike many people who collect bags, I wouldn't necessarily sell a bag just because I'm not getting a lot of use out of it right now. Because for me, that changes over time. Time. There may be bags that I'm only using a few times a year now. That may be my favorite bag a couple of years from now. That has happened many times for me. So selling for me has way more to do with how I feel about a bag versus how much I'm actually using a bag right now. And also because I only buy one to two bags a year, and there are some years like this year where I haven't bought any bags, I don't feel pressure to sell because I've accumulated too much. However, this video is about three bags bags that together cost about the same amount as a Kelly 25 Cellier and I can reasonably see getting a fair amount of use out of. Now I have no plans to buy any of these bags but I have no plans to buy the Kelly either. So short of my Nata Mini Kelly showing up this year, I haven't requested any bags from my Hermes essay and it's highly unlikely that I'll be offered any Hermes bags out of the blue this year. But for those of you that are curious about what other bags in interest or excite me that if I were feeling spendy and I decided not to get a green Kelly, these are the three bags that I would get instead. Now shockingly, I don't have bags from any of these brands. These bags would definitely breathe a breath of fresh air into my collection. The first is the Fendi Baguette Chain Midi in the blue color. I like this bag for a few reasons. First, the size is perfect. It's around the size of a small Chanel classic flap, but it has a strap 
long enough for crossbody and it doesn't have a double flap so it will fit more. Secondly, I love the color. Normally with blues I like navies or jewel tones like the Hermes blue sapphire color but this particular blue makes this bag look so casual and fun. It almost has a denim quality to it similar to the Hermes blue jean color but the tones are clearly very different but I do think it brings a similar fun casual quality to this bag. So I think this bag will pair beautifully with denim. And lastly, just from a handbag lover and collector perspective, I have lusted after the Fendi baguette for years, but I've yet to find one that would make me pull the trigger, but I think this one is gorgeous. Next is the Gucci 1955 horse bit shoulder bag. Now this bag is right up my alley. I love this tan brown color. It's a crossbody. The size is perfect. I have seen at least three people on the subway with this bag, but in the larger size. And every time I see it, I am completely drawn to it. How I would wear this bag is as an alternative to my pochette Matisse. There are occasions where I want to wear my pochette Matisse because I want a brown camel warm toned crossbody bag, but that bag is just too casual. And I think this is where this Gucci bag could come into play. And last up would be the Lady Dior, but I would only want the Lady Dior in this color, which is, as I mentioned before, one of my favorite colors, a jewel toned green. So Dior isn't currently making Lady Dior's in this colorway, but if I ever got one, this is exactly what I want. But I'll be completely honest with you, why I want this bag is that it really reminds me of the Kelly 25 in one of the greens that I really love, like Malachi, Vert Jade, Vert Cypress. And that brings us full circle to why I haven't gotten any of these bags before, because I am just one of these people. When I'm really passionate about one thing, like I am about a green Kelly, it's very hard for me to get sidetracked by other bags. And until I make up my mind, whether or not I want to request a green Kelly from my Hermes essay, I'm perfectly fine not buying any bags. But I am a true handbag lover, so I love looking at bags and talking about them with you. It is kind of amazing to me that even with all of these price increases, I could get these three bags for almost the same price as one Kelly. I think in the luxury community, we've become very desensitized to the cost of Hermes bags. Somehow we've convinced ourselves that if we get them from the store, it's almost a bargain, but they're very expensive bags. As you can see, I'd be able to get three really good bags for the price of one Kelly. And that's one of the reasons that for principle alone, I refuse to do the pre-spending for Hermes bags because I think the bags are expensive enough as is. Of course, I don't judge anyone else for doing the pre-spend, but I have to put a lot of thought into whether or not I will spend that kind of money on the bag itself, far less any additional costs that I would have to add in order to buy the bag. But that's a tangent and I've talked about my thoughts on Hermes pre-spending in the past. So let me know what you think of my choices and if you were me, would you get these three bags? Would you just go for it and request that Green Kelly from your essay? Or would you do what I'm doing and not buy any bags? So believe it or not, it's been over a year since I purchased my last handbag, which was the Constance 18. I know I posted that unboxing in December, but I bought that bag in the spring of 2022. So it's been a long time since I bought a handbag, but if you've watched my channel in the past, I'm a very slow, considered, thoughtful buyer of luxury, almost to the point of parsimony. I'm the person at the supermarket examining every apple to purchase the exact one that I want. So that's my video for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. That would make my day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.